Hello, my beautiful air signs. Welcome to Divine Bow Beginnings 93. This will be your reading for June 1st until June 15th. I would love to say a beautiful and blessed happy birthday, Gemini. We have a few decks that we're going to go with for today. We have the universe has your back, and then we're going to get an angel answers. So make sure you keep one question in your head as we go along with this reading. And at the end of the reading, I will give you that one card. Let's get started, right? So we going into June 1st into a new moon. If most of you don't know, the new moon is in Sagittarius. And with that being said, mainly from what I've been seeing and reading up on, the moon is taking that leap of faith into what you want, what you want to pursue, your endeavors. So let's get started. I don't want to talk you guys ears off too much. So this again is from June 1st until June 15th. The first card you guys have that dropped is the chariot. The chariot is things moving forward. This could be you coming out of a situation that you were currently in, but roles are changing. This could be, okay, those wanted to come out. This could be you moving forward in a phase of things coming full circle for you. So you have another opportunity to catch and grab what you're looking for. The next card we have is the five of cups. We have the knight of pentacles and we have the five of wands. So again, this is not a specific reading. So this will not be tailored to your personal situation, but this is a collective reading. So take what resonates and leave what does not. Okay, so let's get into what these cards are giving me what kind of vibes I'm getting from these cards I have the chariot here with the five of cups with the knight of pentacles and the five of wands so to me it's telling me that things are starting to move forward but not only are things moving forward like your leap of faith if you haven't already taken it I feel like this is for some people who have already taken it and then I have another side of it that this is for people who are about to take that leap of faith air signs. But for some, no, actually, I feel like this is a definitely, a definitely collective message. Okay, you're dwelling on the past. You're dwelling on how you should have went about things in a different way and how you wish you never would have went about something or you could be looking at situations that you move forward from that were negative that were holding you back and you like it's kind of like feeling regret for doing it make sure y'all um watch my butterfly effect that reading will definitely help you guys with this situation right here because i feel like it's some things that you walked away from and you're looking at them as if it's like you're contemplating in your head. Should I have walked away from it? Did I handle it correctly? For some of you, it's like you walked away from it, but you're not realizing that you have these two of cups behind you. And with these two of cups behind you, it's you looking at situations that were karmically wasn't for you. Let's go on to our next card. Our next card we have is the Knight of Pentacles. So with the Knight of Pentacles, I just feel like maybe money situations are getting better for some people. I definitely feel like it's a financial situation going on. Um, but with that being said, I feel like you're coming into your abundance. Again, these new moons are bringing things about full circle. So if before you kind of veered off, on a money venture that got you kind of buried in a deep hole now you're coming out of that deep hole and you could be paying off your debt you could be saving more that's what I'm getting from that card and the last card we have is the five of wands that's conflict okay so I feel like with the five of wands it's gonna be conflict moving away from what you let go 
and I don't really feel like that's conflict with someone else. I feel like that's you having mental conflict. But again, we will get some cards that um, breaks it down a little more for us. So let's move into that portion of this reading. And the card that I seen that drew my attention was justice. So we have justice on top of the chariot. Let's get one more card. I feel like justice on top of the chariot is maybe something you wanted to move forward with that didn't quite come about at the time that you wanted it to move forward. So yeah. So it left you in this mind state of, is this really for me? Should I really go towards this? And that's okay. That's fine. Um, I feel like the justice is here to tell you like, okay, you're not crazy. And this is a mental conflict. Now, the reason why I say it's a mental conflict, because we have here... The Eight of Swords and the Five of Swords. So it's you moving out of this mind state that, for one, no one gets you. You moving out of this mind frame of, look, this situation is for me. I'm taking what's mine and I'm walking away. At the same time, this is someone that, no, this is not someone. This is you. You can be manipulative at times. It's not that you do it purposely, but if you get that opportunity, you do do it. So it's just to be aware of your actions, how you treat people, and what you do. Remember, you guys, what you put out into the universe is what you receive back. We don't want to repeat those old ways again, okay? So I feel like right now you're going through this whole... This whole situation of looking back on the things that occurred... And how now you're going to move forward to change it. We have the lovers. So this is the Gemini card. Like we said, happy birthday, Gemini. Now, with the lovers is, it was conflict. It, okay, for some people, I see that you were manipulating a love situation. And for others, I see that someone else was manipulating this situation for you. And that's why... For some, you walked away. You took what's yours and you walked away. Yes, this person is hurt and that's okay. But they didn't think that everything that was going to come out was going to come out the way it came out. And they thought they could continue to walk on and continue to do this manipulation. Now you like, look, my sword is up. Meaning you're still kind of guarded. But I feel as though it's like the guardedness is not towards this situation because you overcame the situation. The guardedness is towards your heart as far as saying the next person you talk to, the next person you date, the next person that you decide to form a relationship with, you're not going to let this situation occur again. For some. For others, it was conflict around this love interest. And I feel like it was conflict around his love interest because maybe the situations you were going through, you couldn't really be yourself. Like you wanted to give your all, but you could not really do that. And that's why it, it went into this whole three of cups, I mean five of cups. Three of them are knocked down until the two of cups because you're sitting, you're sitting there dwelling on the past. You're letting the past well before you were letting the past compromise you mainly like you were letting the past dictate to you what you should be doing and you come into maybe you've met someone that doesn't treat you that way or this is someone from the past it could be a reconciliation for some um and this person doesn't treat you that way but it was it's like you still had ties to this other person even though you wanted to get out the situation you still had ties and the ties were like holding you back 
in a way. But you realize what was going on. You realize the manipulation that you were doing, they were doing, and then to the person that you met, which is the lovers, um, that how you kind of maneuvered that into that new relationship. And that's why we had a justice card here because that is about to come out. And it's not to say that it was all bad. Not everything was all bad, but you're ready to move forward. You're ready to let go of this energy of not having this love. I'm going to get a few more cards for the first one, and then we're going to go on to the second one. So after the lovers. Okay. And my deck is in the upright. We have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. Now, in the upright, this will be you letting go of situations that no longer serves you that are negative. In the reverse, on top of the lovers, I feel as though the situation that you truly love and care about this particular person male or female this situation you're going you're going to you're not walking away from it you're going to it because it's in the reverse so this is not the old situation that you were dealing with this is the new revamp situation from maybe because i have swords here it could mean you could have been disconnected from this person and it could have been you walking away from this person. Or vice versa. Take what resonates. But I feel as though now you're like, I'm getting what's mine. So we ate a cups, the other old situation. And even if this person that you love the most don't know that you're not walking away from them, it's going to come out. It's about to come out. And you have to be the one to make that gesture. I feel that for some. You have to be the one to make that gesture to let them know that you really care. Because it's not that they don't know, but it's okay to show them that you really care. It's okay for you to open up to them. Because you feel like this person is that one cup. This person has that last cup to give you the Ten of Cups. And that will be emotional fulfillment with them. You're emotional fulfilled. Like, you've been working on your home life. You've been working on your stability. You've been working on your money issues. But that one cup that you've been waiting to probably contact or to move forward with is what you're missing. And you miss it dearly. Some people say air signs really don't have emotions, that they're cold. I don't believe that. I believe that air signs, honestly, when you really love somebody, you love hard. And not to say that it's a, it's a, um, a mean thing what people say, but they just feel like you're disconnected. But... I have a few air signs in my life and I understand that you're not disconnected. You sit back and you assess the situation. And once you assess it in your own terms, then you're like, okay, now I can do what I want to do to move forward. Again, we have this communication. You got to make that communication. You got to tell this person how you feel. Because if they don't know, then they're just lollygagging in the world like okay i know i love them but do they love me for some for others this could be you going into your wish fulfillment and i feel like this is you conquering that battle of separation let's go into our second set which is the five of cups We have the Six of Pentacles. So now what you're doing is you're starting, again, you're starting to balance your financial situation. You're starting to be able to help others. You're giving to others what God 
I know for some people, they don't say God. They say spirits and angels. Whichever way you flow with it, let's flow with it. But what I'm saying is you're able to balance what you receive, the abundance that you're receiving, you're able to give back and to help others. So that's a great thing. That's because you're balancing yourself. You're balancing your money habits. You're not spending on unnecessary things that you need, you know, that you don't need. I'm sorry. The next card we have on top of that is the full card. You're taking that leap of faith. Regardless if the people who you're sharing this abundance with gives back to you, you're taking that leap of faith into this new situation, for one. For two, you're taking that leap of faith into just experiencing and enjoying life. This person, they're unwarranted. They, they're looking up. They're not even looking down at the ground. They're like, okay, if I walk off the cliff, they don't even know they're about to walk off the cliff. The dog trying to get his attention like, hey, hey, watch out. You walking off this cliff into water. And if anybody know anything about the chalices, the cups, that's water. So you're walking into this emotional fulfillment. It could be a job. It could be money. It could be family situations. Again, it could be love. But you're taking that leap of faith to get to where you want to go. And that's what this is all about. This is about you being free, about you feeling the love in every way possible. The next card that I that grabbed my attention is the Four of Swords. To me, that signifies the retreat card. This is for you to not only rest, because... You have come a long way. You've been doing a lot of work. You've been, it's like you've been rewiring yourself. And that's a beautiful thing because now you're wiring yourself to look at situations in a different way. If we want to go all the way there, we could say you're going into this hangman energy. And the hangman is looking at things in, in, from a different way. This is you sitting back. This could be you meditating. This could be you just thinking to yourself, but not getting getting in the way of your negative thoughts. This is you in that positive mind frame like, okay, this is what I want. How can I go get it? How can I go forward? Money, love, work, whatever it is for you, this is what's going to happen. You know, let's keep going. Just make sure you guys rest. Make sure you guys meditate. See? When you go into that relaxation place, get out your head. That relaxation place is for you to rest. It's not for you to be in your head. It's not for you to doubt everything that you move forward with. If you ate a cup somebody, you ate a cup them because you know that they were negative. They held you back. But you're moving into this new beginning. This new beginning is here. Once you get out your head, once you communicate, once you do what you need to do. Everyone knows what you, you, everyone that's watching this, you know what you need to do to move forward. Once you do that, this will be in the reverse. And it's okay. I'm not saying this is a bad card, okay? What I'm saying is it's okay to be in your head for maybe one to two seconds. It's okay to have that little fear of doubt because no one sits there every single day and have this whole persona of everything being positive. Yeah, they can speak it, but deep down, they're going through the same negativity in their head just as you. It's okay to be sitting in that for a moment, but don't stay there. This ain't for you. You work too hard to sit here and have your mind destroy everything that you're trying to accomplish here we go the next two cards okay the next three cards okay fine we'll take it um the next card is what you're thinking about this ten of cups what is your wish fulfillment seriously like sit there and ask yourself What is my wish fulfillment? What do I want? What are my desires? If you're thinking about a family, 
what do I want my family to be like? How do I want this? Do I know the person that I want this with? If I do, then I'm going to do everything to get to and protect this Ten of Cups. And I want to say with this card, I can feel it very deeply that this person feels the same way you feel. It's just now it's time to communicate that. Communication. The next part that fell out was the four cups. So either you going to someone secretly with this cup of love or they're coming to you. Normally this will be you missing out on an opportunity. But because of everything that's going on right now with the new moon and Sagittarius, this is everything coming back full circle. That opportunity that you thought you missed out on, bam, it's back. Hello, how you doing? It's back for you. Are you going to do what you did the first time and walk away from this ultimate wish fulfillment, this love that you've been dying to have, dying to see, not literally dying, but you guys get what I'm saying. Are you going to walk away from it? Are you going to walk away from this opportunity to be bigger and better and accomplish a lot more than you accomplished before? I wouldn't, but that's up to you. That's It's right in front of you. Grab it. Take it. If this is for you, if this person is coming to you, grab it. Take it. If you're supposed to be going to someone and you know you're supposed to be going to someone because you walked away... Go take them that cup of love because they're waiting on you just like you waiting on them. And to end that, we have the Knight of Wands. Now it's time for you to get into it. Everything is about to start moving fast. If this is someone coming to you, they about to communicate rapidly. Things are about to start taking off. Things you thought, oh, well, maybe it's not the time for it to take off. Mm -mm. Sally mistaken because it's ready here we go it's like here we go it's your turn to get on this merry-go-round no one else is in front of you in line those people already got on had their ride and got off or they still on and one couple got off and it's time for you to go ahead and get on this merry-go-round you got it don't doubt yourself you came too far to turn back. Get out your head. Say this is for me and I deserve the best. Because you do. Let's go into this third card. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Like I said, abundance is coming your way. And if it's not abundance, if it's someone coming towards you, I feel as though it's it could be a proposal. But it's something that's going to be tangible. It's something that's going to be reached. It's something that's been in the harvest waiting to come out. And if this is you, this is you going forward with this to someone else. To greet them with this beautiful love. To greet them with this. could be a ring. Engagement, I said. But you're moving forward. Whatever it is, you're not sitting still. You've been waiting on that sign. The sign is here to go. It's all about are you going to take off. We have the seven of wands. This is you fighting for this new beginning. Even those days you get in your head and you like, I don't know if this person, is this person really for me? And if it's going to work out, take that leap of faith. You got the fool card. The full card is here. You ready to? It's time. Remember, the person that really adores you, the person that really sticks around for all this stuff, is the person that mirror what you're mirroring of them. So you both are mirroring each other. You love them as much as they love you. The next card we have, here we go. I said it, the hangman. You're looking at it from a different standpoint. Before, you could have been like, this person ain't even going to take me back. This person ain't even going to talk to me no more. This person got their own life going on. 
Wands are action. Take action. If you already started your action, great. If you haven't started action, take action. You're hanging upside down, remembering the memories that you have with this person. This could be you trying to talk to them in the 3D. I mean, in the um, 5D, excuse me, when they're sleeping. Stop. Stop doing that. That's okay. I'm not... Okay, let me say this. I'm not saying stop doing that. But what I'm saying is, contact this person. Let this person know that I still got feelings for you as much as you got feelings for me. And you know what happens? The high priestess come out. Boom. Things come out. Things come to the light. Secrets. It's not bad secrets. It's good secrets. Some good, some bad. Some worth <sighs> taking a deep breath. But most of them, something that you think is so huge and big is something so small to this person that really cares about you. And once you take that leap of faith into discussing with this person what you really want and how this is going to move forward. There we go. We got the death card. The death card is you going into this new beginning with who you want and how it's going to happen. We're going to get two more cards. It's, it's no more time for you to weigh up. Okay? It's not time for this. No. Yeah, sit there and weigh up. Okay, should I go? Should I stay? Okay. Should I talk to him? Should I not talk? I don't know. Whatever y'all situation is, I can't tell one specific situation because I have more people to watch this. So, weigh up for a second. That's fine. This new beginning is here for a reason. You weighing up because you're thinking, is this too good to be true? It's not too good to be true. We got a judgment card. The judgment card is here to tell you, stand in your truth. Stand in who you are. Because if you don't stand in your truth and don't stand in who you are, we're going to go back through the same cycle that you've been going through for the longest. You don't want to do that. You don't want to backtrack all these million and one steps you took just to go back to step number one. Are you crazy? No, I wouldn't. Shoot, my feet tired at this point. Let's go into this last card. We got conflict. We have conflict over you feeling like you left out in the cold. If you walked away, I'm not saying it ain't right for you to feel that way. But it could be this old situation that you've been thinking about that made you feel like you left in the cold. And that's okay. It, it could be your past experiences that made you feel like you were just left hanging dry. That's fine. But that doesn't determine what this situation is. This is a new situation. It may look similar. It may start off similar, just like them other relationships you were in. Where you, where you thought this person was just like them. The mother situation started off. It was great in the beginning, honeymoon phase. But when things started heating up, you was like, I don't want to be in this no more. This ain't right. And you right. That what that wasn't right for you. Because now you're here with the person you want to be with. Now you're here with your dreams, your desires. You here. You made it. And that's great. Because I already know this person makes you feel like the higher friend. Like you want to marry them. You want a higher commitment with this person. Look how she looking. Nine of Pentacles. You you looking at her like she on her game. You could be spying on her through social media. As well as her spying on you. Or vice versa. If it's a him for you, a him or vice versa. You guys know. But you spying on her. As well as she sitting on her throne, look at you. You made it this far to sit on your throne. And again, you guys, 
if you're a female, you know how to go with this. But you bringing out that masculinity. You taking charge of your life. No more sitting back letting others take charge of your life. Make that move. We got the page of wands here. If you traveling, make that move. If you going to see this person, make that move. If you traveling just to get a just to get away, just to have a break to yourself, make that move. You got this. No fear. Fear only holds you back. And on the other side of your fear is your greatest accomplishment. We had a Queen of Cups, so it's time for you to dibble and dab in this love. It's time for you to go passionately into what you want. If it's not love, it's your passion. It's your desires. It's, it's what you want. It's what you need to do to make you feel whole. Go what makes you feel whole. I mean, you can either look at the cup half empty or half full. I'm looking at it as half full. Go with what you want. Don't hold back. At the bottom of the deck, we have the tower card. Things are changing. Everything is changing right now. Either you with it, or you're going to get left behind. I'm pretty sure you don't want to get left behind. Okay, we have your card. And that's the bottom of the deck, and I just shuffled, and it came out again. So we're taking it. The more energy and intention I bring to my faith, the more fearless and free I am. Beautiful card. Air signs. Okay, now I said in the beginning, y'all, make sure you have one question in your head. We're about to pull up for that one question. Hopefully this answers your question. And if it doesn't, I hope that next time it will. So, the cards that came out, because two cards did appear and drop out for you. It say, remain positive and don't stop. I think these are two beautiful cards to fall out on each other. I hope you guys enjoyed your June 1st until June 15th reading. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't given this video a thumbs up yet, please give this video a thumbs up. I will see you guys in your next video.